Hey guys, it's Ben. Acme Mowing, Acme Mowing and Lawn Care, acmemowing.com. How's it going? Happy Wednesday to you. More importantly, Happy New Year's to you. Happy 2020 to you. Can you believe that that year went by so quickly already? My God, where did it go? I know. And the older you get, guys, the faster those years seem to go by. This last year went by super quick for me. Um, but yesterday, I, I got into some of those live streams. I just joined the room, and I just wanted to wish everybody uh, Happy New Year's. But if you weren't in one of those live streams, you were out doing the thing out on the town, I wanted to wish you guys a Happy New Year's today. So, but uh, when I went into those rooms, and there's a reason that I told you that, when I went into those rooms, there were some people that were talking about New Year's resolutions and what their resolution was for that year. It was the question of the night. What's your New, you know, what's your New Year's resolution? There was a lot of uh, want to lose weight, uh, want to make more money, uh, want to quit smoking. Uh, there's a lot of those. Uh, I want to get healthier, stuff like that. Uh, and I'm listening to that stuff and I'm like, yep, that sounds like me. That sounds like me. Uh, all that stuff. I've tried, I've done I've, all those resolutions. I've done them all. And it got me thinking, uh, man, I haven't made a resolution in many years. And why haven't I done that? Um, guys, I'm, well, let me tell you why I haven't done it because resolutions just don't work for me at all. I don't know if they work for you. If they have, if you've been successful with resolutions in your past, please comment below and tell me what you were successful with. Most people I've met, and I've asked uh, many, many people, were you successful with your New Year's resolution? I've just something, it's something that's always interested me because I found out years ago uh, what works for me. Now, it may not work for you, uh, but it works for me. Uh, resolutions do not work for me. Uh, setting goals is what works for me. And the reason that setting goals works for me is because when you goal set, when you set a goal, you have to be pretty specific about what your goal is. So instead of saying, I want to lose weight next year, a uh, goal would be, I want to lose 20 pounds next year. I got 60 extra pounds I want to lose, but next year I want to lose 20. That's keeping it real, guys. Uh, and how am I going to do that? That's what a goal is all about, is you have to have a plan on how to achieve that goal. So how am I going to do that? Well, let's do some research. Let's, uh, let's stop eating fast food all the time, like I was. Uh, every single day just about three times a week uh, you know what are we gonna bring that back down to uh, let's set a goal for the first year to only eat fast food twice a week uh, two meals a week that's it uh, the rest of the time something you make at home not very specific just something you make at home uh, so I knew that my problem was fast food I was eating because it tasted good, not because I was hungry. So that's why I put on all that extra weight. So, so the goal plan was to decrease my time at the fast food, uh, increase my uh, time making food at home, right? That was it. That was my entire goal. Exercise wasn't a part of that. None of that was a part of it. It's not like I was trying to lose a lot of weight all at once. If I was, I probably would have had that step that up but how successful would I have been? I don't know. Uh, so I like to step things down. I, want, I knew I wanted to lose 60 in the end, 60 pounds, and I thought, well, the first year goal will be 20. You know, it took me 50 some years to put on all that weight. Let's take a couple. Let's let's take our time. Take a couple years to take it off, and it's slowly been coming off, and it's been a it's been a healthy uh, weight loss. So, um, and my eating habits have gotten better, but it's all been a part of the goal planning and goal setting resolutions. I want to lose weight or I want to quit smoking. Be specific. Uh, and if you want to call it a resolution, as long as you're, as you're specific and you've got a plan on how to achieve it, go for it. Uh, but for me, resolutions doesn't work. It's goal setting. That's the only thing that works for me. Let's talk about goal setting for this year. We're not going to get too specific in this one because I haven't got them all hammered out. Uh, here in Oklahoma, uh, our season won't start again up until April. Uh, the beginning of April, the end of March, at the earliest. So I've got some time to refine my goals, and there, there's no law that's written that says I have to do it by the first. Uh, but I do have some goals already in mind from last year uh, that that we didn't we didn't make all of our goals, and you won't always. Uh, we were a little bit unrealistic about our expectations, I think. But we're going to revisit those goals. We're going to reset them, and we're going to try to achieve them this time. So we're not going to give up on our goals. We're just going to 
we're going to revisit them and reset them. That's it. So let's get in the uh, let's get in the um, fridge of fame room. Look at all my shirts, guys, that I've gotten this year and and last year. Look at my shirt collection. It's really getting good. I'm so thankful to you guys for sending those shirts to me. I can't even tell you. Uh, that's one of our things this year. That's one of our goals, guys, is we want to uh, we want to have some shirts made up so we can send some shirts out too every once in a while. Uh, one of the fun goals that we want to do this year, one of the fun things that you guys can track uh, us on um, YouTube with is the Fridge of Fame goal. Now, last year we talked about how we wanted to get this whole thing filled up all the way to the bottom, right? We want to fill this fridge of fame up with you guys' business cards and stickers and EDDM cards and magnets and all kinds of stuff. Uh, but we didn't quite make it, as you can see. We came up just a little short. Uh, that's okay. We're, guys, we're not giving up on the goal. So the goal this year, we're just gonna, we're gonna revisit the goal and reset that goal right now. Me and you, right now. Uh, I'm gonna fill up the bottom of that fridge all the way to the bottom, and I'm gonna fill up the top quarter of the side over here. I think that's a realistic goal for a year. So, if you wanna help me get an early start on that, go ahead and send me your card, sticker, magnet, whatever, for our Fridge of Fame, and I'll put you up there. We'll talk a little bit about your social media channel, if you've got one, and if you do have one, let me know about it so we can find it, uh, if I don't already know about it. Uh, and we'll put you up on the Fridge of Fame, talk about your channel. And you'll be helping us achieve one of our goals this year. It's a fun goal. Uh, we have serious goals, but this isn't the video to talk about those serious goals. We've got monetary goals and we've got equipment goals. We've got other things we're going to talk about, but not today. So let us know what your uh, New Year's resolution was this year if you set New Year's resolutions. If you're a goal setter like me, let me know uh, what some of your goals are if you know them already. I don't have all mine ready for you guys yet, but the Fridge of Fame is, is a fun goal that I'd like to achieve this year. It's one of the fun ones that I'd like to do. I've set a couple fun ones for myself. I'd also like to uh, increase my t-shirt collection. And uh, I guess in order to do that, I gotta have my own t-shirts uh, on hand so we can do t-shirt exchanges. It's just not fair them sending me t-shirts and me, and me not sending them one. That doesn't make any sense. So another one of my fun goals this year, guys, is we're gonna have some uh, t-shirts made up. Uh, we could use them for our uh, uniforms for us because our old ones are starting to wear out. But we'll also have some on hand to give out in a t-shirt exchange and increase my collection. That'd be really cool. Ooh, yeah, it's chilly. Yep, it's chilly and windy. Uh -huh. It's Oklahoma. Forty-eight is what it was supposed to be. You been in your pajamas all day? Yeah. Dead battery on the Vantage. Somebody knows how to behave. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? He's putting static electricity in his ears. <laughs> Good girl, Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> we got something for the Fridge of Fame, baby. Hi, all. Hi, guys. We got something for the Fridge of Fame. Guess who it's from? I know who it's from already because okay. I looked at the return address, <laughs> but I wanted to tell you what we were talking about. Oh. We were talking about New Year's resolutions today. Mm -hmm. I don't have how, any. I'm perfect. I, I don't, <laughs> you are perfect. And how I <laughs> how I don't do any resolutions because they never work for no, me. No, they don't. <laughs> so, so you have no resolutions. No. Any goals? Yes. What's your goal for to travel as much as I possibly can? We're going to take yes. you with us on our weekend getaways. <coughs> We're planning on a bunch of weekend travels uh, this coming summer. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. We're going to take you with us, and if there's any lawn care guys in the area, we'll buy you lunch while we're there. Heck yes. All 
All right, so what do we got? Buford T. Cletus from Rossville, Georgia. He's one of the Lawn Stars. He is one of the Lawn Stars. Howdy. Buford T. Cletus here. Yep, that's the sheriff. <laughs> okay. Oh, cool. All right, let me get behind the camera. We'll show the card off. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Buford T. T. Cletus. R and V wings and things. We grill, we grilling and chilling. It says. Okay, he's got us. We grilling and chilling. But this is the one. There you go. All he wants. There's the sticker. It's yep. the uh, sheriff, uh, Buford T. Cletus, long arm of the lawn. Lawn stars. That's so cool. Lawn stars. Okay, where are so, we putting this? We're gonna put it on the fridge fan, but is there a okay. note? Yes, there is. It says, howdy, Ben and KH. Keep the great videos coming. Enjoy watching them. I'm glad meeting you in the YouTube community. Hope to meet y'all in person soon. Your friends, Buford T. Cletus, long arm of the lawn. Long arm Thanks, of the Buford. lawn. Thanks, Buford. Thank you very much, so That's awesome. We so, greatly appreciate the sticker. We, and uh, we, we certainly enjoy uh, your videos that you guys put out. Yes, we do. So, KH? There we go. Sheriff Buford T. Cletus mm -hmm. is going up on the fridge of fame amongst such notables as Rockbridge, Yardman LLC, The Greener Side, Hubbard's Lawn Care, 904 Lawn Pros, Grass Grind, Scout, Redbird Lawn Care, DSA Gardening, and you're in Pretty familiar company there, Sheriff Buford T. Cletus. You are next to the Lawn Stars, uh, under the handyman, and you don't know the Bushwhackers, but they're in Pryor, Oklahoma, and you're right next to that guy. Let me introduce myself. I'm Buford T. Cletus. I want to talk to this uh, Henry Bushnuts. Sheriff, uh, welcome to the Fridge Effect. Yes, welcome. We're very happy to have you. And I know that you're coming out with some videos on your own channel. Howdy. Here's a look back at today's little events. We doing a little pouring here. Well, here we are on another job site. And what we're doing today is we're having to unload into uh, some buckets, actual front buckets, uh, bobcat, a uh, couple of tractor buckets. And they're having to do a, a footing and can't get to it because the weather dumped a lot of rain on us and the ground's too wet. There you go, check that out. Pretty good ways to have to go. We'll get back at you here in a little bit. Thank you very much, sir. Thank we you. really appreciate it. Yes, we do. So, so, love each other. Make lots of money. And peace. Peace. I can't believe you don't have a goal or a resolution. I have goals. Well, are you going to share one of your goals with us? I told you. I want to travel as much as I possibly can I know, but that's not really a goal. That's what we're going to do. Uh, so, we already know we're going to do that. So. But I want to get videos and put them on my YouTube channel. There you How go. How about that? Sounds good. Okay. Bye, y'all.